Hi, Miss Parker. So since we're going to be starting um, the grocery store unit and then we'll have the bakery in the grocery store, I kind of wanted to um, do like a fun activity to kind of introduce the bakery um, to the kids. So we've already read the ebook that was, you know, included on my website. Yeah. So the kids are kind of familiar with, you know, they know the name bakery. They kind of know what happens in the bakery. But I wanted to do an activity um, that gave them kind of like some real world connection, okay. real world experience. So I thought it'd be really cool if we bake cupcakes for them okay. um, in the classroom. So that'll be pretty cool. And so I got some of the materials that I wanted to kind of show them that um, will be the props and things that will be over there in the center. Um, the first thing that I wanted to do was talk about like some of the vocabulary words and things like that for baking. So I thought reading this book, Baking the Cake, um, would be really good because it sequences the steps and, you know, baking the cake using the ingredients, um, how to mix it, how to, you know, put it in the oven and all that. Um, and I really like this book because it has a lot of rich vocabulary. So it's talking about mixing and stirring, talks about batter okay. and ingredients. So the kids will be able to, um, identify that. So maybe like doing a picture walk through this book, um, as well as this one over here, Cooking Tools. It just talks about some of the tools that you know you would need to either bake or to cook and things like that. Okay. I also have some of the materials like we have like a mixing bowl, we have some measuring yeah, cups, okay. and measuring cups, measuring spoons. We have the, the baking pan. I actually went ahead and labeled the baking pan um, with the numbers in it because you know when the kids when they're taking the customer's order, you know they mm -hmm. can ask the customer, oh well, how many cupcakes or how many treats would you like? You know okay. they can count and say, oh, well, I want five, I want ten. You know so they can identify the numbers. Um, so it's really integrating that math um, concept as well. Okay. Also, there's also a lot of writing opportunities for the kids. Like we made um, order forms for the kids. So, you know, the whoever the baker or the clerk is going to be, you know, they can say, well, how many would you like? And so they can either, um, for like those lower level kids, they'll just be able to use the check mark and put a check mark in the box or just a dot. Okay. Um, or for those higher kids, they'll be able to actually write the numerals. So having those math and writing opportunities um, is really important. Um, so, like, did you have any questions or like, did you kind of want to... What ideas did you have? Um, really, I just we were talking about baking, so I think that would be a good idea for, the, like you said, the lower level kids to get the idea of uh, using some of the ingredients, uh, how to share. Mm -hmm. So I think that was a good idea. Yeah, we also the kids also, um, which was really great. They made a menu for the bakery. Um, we we did um, we talked about you know we went through the sales page and we talked about different things mm -hmm. that we might see in the bakery. So they actually went ahead and made the menu. And so in the menu, um, each student got to draw like, you know, like the pie or the cake or cookies or anything like that. So if they, you know, they come up and they see, you know, for the kids who the, this might be too high level for them, they'll be able to see this menu and they'll say, oh, okay, well, I know that's a pie. Or they may look for the picture that they drew themselves okay. and say, okay, well, you know, I want cookies or, you know, whatever that is. Okay. Um, once again, another, you know, reading opportunity, demonstrating, you know, that literacy, um, that, that print rich environment, you know, having the kids write the words on there and things like that. Okay. Um, so for the actual activity, I kind of want to go through like who the role, like who actually works in the bakery okay. um, and then have them kind of walk like step by step walk through the process. Like what's the first thing that we kind of okay. like sequencing? Um, okay. What's the first thing that we do? Let's follow this recipe. Um, first, we need our ingredients, then we have to mix them, then okay. we can talk about um, how we do things safely. You know, we know the oven is hot, we can't put it, you know, in the oven without using, you know, certain yeah. tools and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, some of the vocabulary words that I was thinking about um, making sure the kids know, like recipe um, is probably one, so I think I'll make sure I note that down. Recipe, um, ingredients. Ingredients is a great vocabulary mm -hmm. word. Measurement. Measure, that's good. Mm -hmm. um, batter, mix. Stirring mm -hmm. is also great. And then the other thing, oh yeah, temperature, good. Yeah. That's really good too. Um, and then kind of like, like I said, like sequencing, using those ordinal numbers, like making sure like when we're doing the activity, we're talking and saying, first, I'll do this. Second, okay. I'll do this. Next, I'll do this. So they get, you know, the, the idea that it's a, you know, it's a process. And also um, we can show them on the back of the cupcake uh, batter that they had steps to go through. Right, step so one, step two, step three, that's mm -hmm. good too. And then I also made like these little pictures. I think it would be good like just to keep on the shelves to have the shelves labeled so they know like, you know, when, once they're done cleaning up, things like that, because this is where I put the measuring cups, this is where the pan goes, this is, you know, where okay. these things go. So it'll help with, you know, organizing mm -hmm. and just keeping the center clean. Um, and maybe when we make cupcakes, maybe we have the kids or one of us uh, wear the props. Yeah, so definitely. Get, we'll, we'll, so yeah, so they get accustomed to them. We mm -hmm. kind of explain like, how we use them, how we put them on. You know, who gets to wear them and what you do oh, when you're wearing them. Yeah, so I think that'll be good. So wearable props. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think for wearable props, what what do you think we can have? So we have a, we have a, yeah. a baker's hat, right? Yes. So we'll have and a an baker's apron. hat, an apron. 
uh, maybe a name tag for the clerk. A name tag for the clerk. I think that's pretty good. Um, and maybe like an apron or something okay. for the clerk. And then, so that's the, the wearable props. And then we have the, the wallet for a customer. Yeah, the wallet for the customer. So then we've talked about, so we have the kind of like the actual props they'll use for baking. So we have, egg, you know, the egg cart and we mm -hmm. have the, uh, the aqua tin yeah. oil. Yeah. We have um, our cake mix. We have like the tools and things that they need. So that'll be good for props. And then some of the vocabulary words, like we said, we want to make sure we introduce. Uh, recipe, ingredients, measure, batter, mix, uh, stirring, temperature, mm -hmm. uh, using those ordinal numbers. Okay. Um, and we also want to make sure that we're including like those math and those literacy mm -hmm. ideas. So like math, um, we're talking about counting because they're taking, when they take the customer's order, mm -hmm. they may count how many cupcakes they want. We're talking about uh, sequencing, Se following the recipe. We may patterns. also like said, patterns. Oh yeah, patterns. That's true also. Because okay. like uh, if the customer if they ask for like um, chocolate cupcake, chocolate mm -hmm. and vanilla cupcakes, mm -hmm. you know they can we can do like maybe like a pattern ship or something yeah. like that with chocolate and vanilla cupcakes. Mm -hmm. um, patterns. That's good too. Um and also patterns kind of time to sorting as well. Yeah. You know they can you can sort all the vanilla cupcake or all like the chocolate chip cookies mm -hmm. together or all you know things like that. Okay. So sorting as well. And then maybe like for literacy, um, there's a writing opportunity they can write in on the customer's order form. Um, we have the, the menu for the bakery uh, mm -hmm. with the environmental print um, and that the kids wrote. What do you think about maybe doing something like to let the kids kind of write their own recipes? Like how do you think we could do, maybe integrate that? Um, I think we should have, um, or maybe I'll bring the recipes mm -hmm. from magazines or we can cut out some magazine uh, mm -hmm. recipes from magazines and put them there mm -hmm. uh, and have pictures to go with it and see if they can write it on their own. Okay, that would be a good idea. Writing their own recipes. Um, yeah, it should be a pretty fun activity. No, it shouldn't take too long. Um, and, you know, like we, we, you know, we have the oven that's in the teacher's lounge, so we'll actually be able to cook the... Um, and then we can also add... Uh, Elements that maybe we want to decorate the cookies or I'm excuse me the cupcakes yeah. um, or anything like that. So mm -hmm. you know that's another opportunity. Maybe get some sprinkles. Yeah, sprinkles. Uh, like maybe use like pretend like the pom poms or something yeah. like that. They can mm -hmm. easily attach. Them. Use like Velcro or something to attach it. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think anything else. We can think of. So we got we have math. We have literacy ideas. Um, we have wearable props for everyone to use. Mm -hmm. um, we talked about the vocabulary that we want to introduce. Um, I think it'll be good, like just to kind of, I mean, cause we, we've taught the, you know, the grocery store, the bakery thing before. I think it'll be good just to do like a fun, you know, introductory activity mm -hmm. so the kids, so it becomes meaningful to the kids. Um, it's not just something, that, and, and making sure that they're involved in the process. So it's not like, it's just something that, you know, we, we only, we get it. to do because, mm -hmm. you know, once the center is open, they're the ones who are gonna be in there interacting. So making sure that maybe we may even call a few up to help us like, you know, stir the ingredients or something like yeah. that. Or be, even be the customer because one of the, issues that we already have and it's um they're not sharing mm -hmm. so maybe we really have to uh play all roles right model mm -hmm. appropriately for them mm -hmm. like appropriate customer you know clerk interactions and yeah. things like that mm -hmm. okay great i think those are some great ideas thank you miss parker okay thank you all right